Want to know how to successfully cross the obelisk? This is the story of how they saved me. Want to be able to do over a hundred damage with a single zero cost slice? Then this is the build guide for you. Hello and welcome. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to do the sharp DPS build for Andrin and across the obelisk. This is a very straightforward build that works by stacking as much sharp as possible while playing as many attacks per turn as possible. Let's start with perks. You can divvy up your perk points how you see fit in the general tab. What we really want to focus on though is physical damage. In the physical tab, putting points into slashing damage is important. This will boost our damage output. Secondly, sharp. This is what our build revolves around, so this is probably our most important perk. Max this out and we will be gaining additional charges of sharp when applied. Our sharp will no longer lose charges and cannot be purged. This is important as we will want to keep all of our sharp to ensure the most damage output possible each turn. When you start a new game, your deck will look like this. We want to use the buildings in town to edit this deck by removing, adding and upgrading cards. I won't drag you through the whole process, but instead show you the deck list. So this is what your deck should look like. This does require some gold and shards, but is not too expensive and shouldn't be hard to obtain a similar deck list. We have removed all ranged attacks and added two copies of Chant of Accuracy. We have 15 cards, the smallest deck size allowed, and 4 of the 15 cards have Vanish, so 11 cards remain after Vanished cards are used. This deck will allow us to constantly gain Sharp, draw cards, gain Armor, and deal a ton of damage every turn. Don't forget to check out the Armory for equipment at each town. You will want to prioritize picking equipment that grants extra sharp charges or extra card draw. This will help the damage output for Andrin. Now you have your deck and equipment for Act 1. Upon reaching level 2, we want to select Maneuver. Maneuver is great for our sharp build as it costs nothing, has vanished, and allows us to draw more cards. Now, once we have reached Town in Act 2, our decklist shouldn't have changed very much. We don't want to convolute our deck, so this is what our decklist should look like. If not, repeat what we did in town at Act 1, that is remove, add, and upgrade cards. Don't forget to check the armory for equipment before leaving town, again prioritizing sharp and card draw items. Once we reach level 3, we will again be able to choose a trait. Momentum is our pick here, as we only have melee in our deck. So every time we spend energy, we get one back and also gain one powerful. 
Powerful will give us a plus 5% boost to our damage per charge, so a nice increase to our damage output overall. Once we hit Act 3, it's the same process as before. Remove, add and upgrade cards for an optimal deck. Check the armory for items to increase sharp or draw cards. A little tip or hint here, if you find a duplicate item and purchase or pick up the item, Instead of replacing your equipped one, it will combine into an epic version with increased stats. Once we hit level 4, we can choose another trait. Serrated weapons is what we want for this build. Serrated weapons will increase our damage by 3 for 10 uses, while every time we hit an enemy, we also gain one charge of sharp. Overall, this is just an awesome boost to our damage output. Now, in Act 4's town, we just rinse and repeat what we did in previous towns. And our deck is looking something like this. At level 5, we get to select our last trait. This isn't important for our build, but I usually pick Marksman. This trait will grant sharp when using ranged. Now, we don't use ranged, I know, however I have added one copy of Sharpening Knife to the deck. It has Vanish, so it's a one-time use, but grants us a decent amount of sharp. Well there you have it, follow this guide and you should be a DPS machine, doing massive amounts of damage each turn and giving you an easy way to successfully cross the obelisk. I hope this video was helpful, please leave a like if it was, and feel free to add your thoughts, theories or questions in the comment section down below. Well, that's it for this guide, and until next time, peace.